morning everybody if you haven't already don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring a little bell video every tuesday and friday and the odd occasional wednesday at half two who knows you know so we are here today we are getting back the old from the new small not the large we are with our side discharge spreader oh, i'll go around here we're back with father as well how long ago didn't we use this three years three years ago was the last time we used it we just get the big one in because we want to smash a load off we don't have too much to do. It is getting to the end of November. We're still traveling really well. So what we're going to do is use this and spread a little bit with the cart. Saves a cost for the rent to one in. And um, it's going to be fine. Can you say that? Those big ones with big tires, they should be all right, surely. They're fine. But when you've only got a few hours in the day in between feeding, milking and everything, to hire one, to do it, you don't have a full day at it. You know, we can have two or three hours at this, take a bit of a look out. It's obviously a lot lighter. We've got top of the job. in the channels and well grass is still growing really it's greening it's not it's growing green. a lot but uh, we've been very lucky with the weather and i say traveling's good and just keep on top of it because when it does come wet we've got the capacity now to store and then spread it when conditions are good rather than being on your back and having to do um, emergency fire brigade stuff this is just maintenance repair and keep just keeping on top of it the loss of the muck won't be it won't be the yeah, value sorry. Someone was saying to me, oh, you'll have to spread in spring, but what? <laughs> we never, a... this farm is owned 100 acres, rented just over 100 acres, and we've got 300 head of cattle on this farm. We're never short of mulch. <laughs> I mean, it's mulch, mulch, mulch. We have the fertility's good, but the land we rent has been short of mulch for the last 15 years. So we're trying to put a fair do on that this time. So next summer, hopefully, it'll help retain moisture longer fertility and everything else it's a yeah you're and just trying to get, yeah, get free crops yes, compared, to, compared yeah a bit more crop feed the land feed the worms worms do the job and then we'll get it make grass well let's talk about the side spreader pto move straight away didn't it straight away straight away move so which is great so what dad is doing now he is WD40, the um, the little pin to hold the PTO on because chances are that would have been seized up or the spring because he's been out in the wild, he's been out in the weather, and also the, the um, universal joints are going to fill with grease uh, just to pack it up and make sure it's right. But the fact the PTO shaft works very easily, didn't have to be pulled out. Um, someone must have greased it and looked after it for when he parked it up. I can't hey, remember yeah, who that yeah, was. Who was that? By the way, just a little shout out. So I was on someone my Snapchat or. Instagram, whatever it was, someone private message me. I said, My dad looks like Laura. Well, he's got dull hair and all that. <laughs> That's a dad's cold today. I, I got you a hat. Where's your hat? Where's your TP hat? It's in the, in the house, isn't it? That one's on the milk round van. It's in the van for the milk round because this is a bit warm and this is thermal. That's a little bit too. Oh, a bit gentle on my head. This one's a bit, bit, more, bit more positive. These hats are very warm. You should buy them at the top of the pop shop. I should go and find the grease gun. Every time you use it, you leave it empty. See? Didn't say much to that, I think. Oh, yeah, you've got loads of old oil. Oh, yeah, just for the oil in the chain or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, when we were talking about people who leave grease guns with no grease in it. <laughs> Guess who used it last? <laughs> so, yeah, that's my fault. I greased the Keenan up this week and. Um, I just wanted to get done because I think I was feeding. I think it was getting to milking time. And I forgot to grease it up. So, got to eat humble pie. That had a good laugh. And uh, I said I'd put it in the video because that's what happened. So we have just undone the bolts at the side. Just said to dad, you know, to take the top one off. Uh, but don't worry about it. <laughs> that one's not been on for many moons. Many moons. Oh, wow. Kit, and the sheds are the newest kit, and it kind of like it kind of 
kind of be like, yeah, I wish I could have the newest kit, but it's easy saying that, isn't it, without having to buy it. But then other people, well, the people say, you might not have the newest kit, but your cows look well. And that is the main thing that we do. We are farming cows, making sure all the kit, it works and it uh, might not be looking the best, but it, it does the job, doesn't it? Like this hasn't moved for three years. I've actually never used this side shed, side um, spreader, which I'm going to use this time. I'm quite excited to use it. But like Dad says, keep things oiled, keep things greased. You might, we have a little bit of debate because you say a bearing will never go with too much grease. But you can break a seal. Well, you can break a seal, yeah. So when you put too much grease and the grease comes out the side, yeah, technically the seal yeah. breaking, so the grease will leave the seal. Yeah, but it'll so always well. water. But uh, greasing should be done little and often. It's a bit like you don't want it all at once. Little and often is better than a great big lot at once. <laughs> and then you spread the load. I'll probably have to beat that out because this is for kids as well. No, no, no. Um, <laughs> little and often. And oily. And I always oil and grease the machine before I ever use it. Sorry, I can't. So before I ever use it, to make sure you take it off, just check the chain. This chain was quite, not seized, but it's very stiff. So we're oiling it hard and the oil will work in, they've turned it around a couple of times and the oil, it's old oil, it was clean when it went in an engine but it's old engine oil so you can lash a bit about and it'll do good if you're yeah. wearing We have plenty about don't we, so we might as well use it just don't bother when using brand new oil for it There is something there, just there, quick one, 20 second little bit We, uh, comment section, people get annoyed that I'm just, I'm interrupting my father all the time but he does chat on for ages so we might look at doing like a either two weekly or monthly video with dad or maybe like kind of like a podcast maybe maybe i don't know video would be easier for me and then we'll kind of do stuff together and just have a, like a discussion about a chat about like topics and stuff it's an idea put it out there so if you watch this what do you think about that right let's get to spread it support yeah this machine came from our hill farm when we had it, it was perfectly big enough there little enough and always when he wanted to it's not worth a lot of money but the bowel's in good order the bearings hopefully will stand and we can move it about when it's quite wet hopefully, it's light hopefully he's working you're going to load up with the 885 uh, 885 yeah not the manitou no because he's got too much muck well, in he was two saying two reasons he, he's got the manitou to feed his cows and move things about which he likes but I can fill this quick enough for the 885 and with it being an old machine and the rotor will be old and rusted not when you, you drop a big lump in the manitou and the lack of a load all you bend the shaft you bend your middle or oh, handle shaft and then all of a sudden it's hitting the side. Yeah, then you're spending more, more money, money than it's it. So it's an old machine, it wasn't oh, cheating. Yeah, oh, 15, 20 years. And how many buy it for, Jerome? Oh, no, I, don't, I think we bought it, maybe bought it this one new. It went to liquor's chipping, then we had it rebarreled at BWA by an army stead because it wore out. And uh, he's put a uh, Howard Roadster 250 barrel on it, it's a bit bigger than the standard. And yeah, perfectly all right. Yes, we could pull bigger, but uh, little and often is better than a job. Whilst we've got it here, doesn't make sure the train is. Okay, so that is wrapped up. That is grease and that's starting. That is maybe chance with Dad. That's what we might look at if this is a good idea. And uh, let's get some spreading done.
Okay, so, drone is ready. Tom is ready. Issue is, because Dad made such a mess of the back, um, I can't see out the back, so there's a bit of an issue, so I'm gonna have to open up the back. Right, let's get straight to her. Said nice and low rev to start with. Drop down a gearbox. Low rev to start with. Don't take that off. Go to third. Right, put the drone on. Let's have a look here. Did say open the open the back door up. Oh, just made a bit of a mess. Let's see how we get on. Here we go. We're going.
so we are nearly finished this is day three just shows the difference between uh summer and winter so uh, you did what four loads I did half, no half a dozen loads, half a dozen loads. I, only did, I only got five loads done yesterday yeah. And then you've how many loads you done today? I've done about another five or six this five. morning. It just yeah, shows a little yeah. bit different of the time it takes because of what time you've got. You know, in summer you've got a lot more time because you can go from nine o'clock to three o'clock. But this time you've got to do feeding. There's just so many other jobs. It's just taking a bit longer to hit this uh, midding a bit harder, isn't it? Yeah, it was eleven o'clock before I started. I've just had lunch now. I will get two or three before we start milking this afternoon. Um, but we've nearly cleared it all. Um, the spreaders. Mike's on the other yeah. side, don't take it off. Yeah, we've nearly cleared it all. Uh, obviously, the tractor stop and start, other jobs to do. And there's no pressure, really. Which it does a good job, that, doesn't it? We're travelling well. I, I drove the first time yesterday whilst trying to do the drone at the same time. Probably not the cleverest idea in the world. No, it worked really well. Easy to use, simple kind of simple bit of kit, isn't it? They are. I mean, they've been about a long time. There's hundreds and hundreds of road spreaders now after the Howard Road Spreader was the first one, but they've all copied the idea after the um, copyrights they had on it. And they do a good job. They're a grassman's spreader. They spread it, you can go faster or slower. You can adjust how fast your revs are going. It bakes it up. It's a grassland, it's a dairy farmer's spreader. It carts slurry, it carts um, box muck and anything, waste, hen muck or anything. It's not a bad spreader. It is well worn, it's done a lot of work. But well, it it's, does a job, doesn't it? It does, it does, does a job. job. It's why, good why, buy, why buy new and stuff? Because, well, like I said, that little thing about it does it does irritate me a little bit when you read it. Like, oh, when you buy that, you need to clean your yard up. That annoys me. Yeah. That wall that fell down, but, but you know that was pushed down. Um, but yeah, we're cleaned up. We've never been as clean of muck at this time of year. It's nearly December. We're nearly cleaned out. There's a couple of things I did um, as we load it, as you can see on the spreader. As those have used it before full in the middle, lift at the end so it starts spreading from both sides and then it works its way to the middle and then you go a bit quicker when it's put a bit more on. Plenty of power with the tractor, um, these were designed for 60, 70 horsepower tractors, not 100 horsepower, so it's on top of its job. Easy. It's Made easy. a bit of a mess first load didn't you, but it was windy, that's what did well, I said I didn't put a drone up first day, that's windy and it was wet inside there wasn't it? Yeah it was very wet, it was a full of slob and water, a lot of rain water, and it shows it didn't leak, <laughs> <laughs> it's not the barrel's still alright, they've got re barreled this better and yeah and rechain so we've got another it's 20 years old it's easy 20 years old and but what i did do this morning that you've got to remember i took the guards off i re-greased it because we've had a few days because the the juices and the muck and the water gets back into the bearings and well 10 pence worth of grease it saves a hundred pound bearing it's as simple as that bearing, yeah. so you've 10 it's pence worth of grease yeah. and hello yeah it's easier greasing it and keeping it going rather than have to take it bits and repair it so yeah, little yeah. things like that little things keep greased all that all kind of grease. good stuff yeah. uh, like i say a few more loads and we've yeah. done a bit of slurry to thing out because the past three days it's obviously filled up over time uh new drone flow well pretty happy with it all so yeah that's pretty much well result. with the weather conditions we've had this back end in autumn we can keep on top of our muck keep on top of our slurry this can be worked into the ground and this midding here this area we have as our midding it doesn't matter if it rains on it all the time because all the juices and all the effluent runs into the slurry pit so it doesn't matter if all the nitrogen's leached out of it it ends up in the slurry and the slurry ends up going on the ground at better times but this will provide feed for the worms feed for the crows the sheep worms, will, that's a big thing yeah, yeah drainage, worms, isn't it? drainage worms, and huge. everything and the sheep will graze around it because there's grass around it they'll poo and spread all their muck all over the field so it all recycles and their little bits of currents of mucky everywhere and then in the spring we'll get some good growth from what we put on during the winter and that my friends was a ginger warrior on muck spreading on muck spreading so like i say we're looking at doing some couple of things me and him yeah. together maybe like a podcast video who knows we're going to bring some stuff in uh, but that is the end of the video no it's not quite oh, because i will say to you all if i had a penny for every ton of muck this spread has spread over its lifetime i'd be a richer man than i am a very, today. A very wealthy man so guys <laughs> that is the end of the video please remember to give it a thumbs up if you give it a thumbs up it helps the video kind of progress a load so i really appreciate it if you do that um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, get your TP merch. I think we've short, sorted the website out so the kids' merch might be ready. Who knows? It's been ready for about two months, so who knows? Looks, it should be because we are looking at that. I'm looking at that tonight, so by the time this video comes out in like 10 days, so it definitely should be ready. And just look at those contented cows. Look at them. Contented, uh, full of food. Happy, happy, chilling, aren't they? Chilling, making milk. Making milk. Guys, thank you very much. Can you where he's going? And uh, I've got some cows to feed, so uh, we'll see you in a bit. See you later.